Hey, hi. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Cucumber Reports with Jenkins. Okay, so once again, we would be using the same simple Cucumber project that we have been using so far. Okay, okay. so let's go to our Jenkins. And for Cucumber integration, naturally, we are going to use Cucumber plugin. Okay, so go to Manage Jenkins. Go to Manage Plugins. Navigate to the available tab and search for Cucumber. And here I would be using the Cucumber reports. Okay. Click on Cucumber reports, install without restart or install out after restart. That's totally up to you. Wait for things to finish. Okay, my installation is done. So let's go back to the top page and create our job. So I would be naming this as Cucumber Integration. I will again select a freestyle project, click on OK. Then add in my Git address. Copy the HTTPS URL, paste it over here. It's working, yeah, it's working. Go down, I would be building again the master branch. Then add the build step. I would add top level Maven targets, Maven test. Yeah, so far, it's same. Now in the post build action section, click on post that and search for something related to Cucumber this time. And once again, there is nothing of Cucumber over here. So I would again go and check my plugins like we did last time. Install. Cucumber reports, enable this, restart. So we might have as well used install after restart. So my Jenkins has restarted. Let's go back to my Cucumber integration build and add in the Cucumber integration step. Here I'll go to configure directly and in my post build actions, I will go and select Cucumber reports. And actually that's all there is to it. And, but let's go ahead and have a look at the advanced section and see what all is, what all does it offer, right? So here we can see there is a report title, which we can give and there is JSON report location. So it's actually searching for a JSON report that is generated by Cucumber by default. Not actually by default, but that is generated by Cucumber. So, and that's it. We have quite a few options over here, which we will have a look on later. Okay. For now, let's just run this once and see what happens. Apply, save, and build now. Let's have a look at logs. So, console logs. Yeah, it seems like everything was okay. Here we can see that a report was not successfully completed why was that and let's have a look at the logs just above it copied one property file processing zero json file so actually it was not able to locate our json file and why was that let's have a look at the workplace workspace and that would provide us with more answers and actually we do not have anything over here so most probably the fault lies within our code. So let's have a look at the code. JSON report. Okay, that this is the issue. So you can see over here that I have commented this section out. Mm -hmm. This is the section that is responsible for creating the JSON report, right? So we can actually remove this comment and commit it in our Git repo, or we can just execute it from the command line and for that let's go back let's actually copy this part out this is what we would be what would be required okay and then go to my configuration and over here where i have written the build step and in the goal section where i've just written test I would add minus capital D cucumber 
dot plugin because it was a plugin step right plugin dot plugin equal to what we have copied right json target this is uh, specifying that we are trying to save a json file and this is the place where we are trying to save it okay so click on apply save and let's run it again and look at the output it's running okay so this time it caught the json file and it processed it successfully let's have a look at our status and see what all things have come in so you can see over here there is a cucumber report section let's go into that and see okay so this is the beauty of cucumber reports it gives you everything that has been executed so it shows you the number of scenarios the steps and it gives you a good graph and you can actually look at the execution in the order of your tags or look at the number of tags that were executed look at the steps individually and look at the trends also so as and when you have more execution this becomes very helpful right okay so you can go back to Jenkins from this tab. So that was actually all about Cucumber integration. And yeah, likewise, you have it for, you know, top level. And you can actually drill down each and every build and look for individual builds also. Okay. So yeah, now it was all. <laughs> okay. Thanks. And see you next time.